This is the Independence 210 AC-DC. It has 210 amp on AC or DC, max output, 5 amp starting, adjustable hot start. It has all the features that you know from our other machines, plus a few more. So this has spot welding, fast tech welding, DC double pulse, DC soft pulse. It has three different waveforms, square wave, sine wave, and triangular waveform. And of course, you can weld stick with this. And of course, everything is easily accessible through the screen. Everything that you adjust shows your little picture. It shows what you're adjusting on the wave. So it's very intuitive. You can do a lot of adjustments on this without ever even reading a manual. The accessories are American-made ground cable accessory that we make here in-house with American cable. American-made heavy hitter torch, American-made SSC foot pedal, American-made continental gas hose. We crimp the ends on in-house. So this machine here will do all the TIG welding tasks you will have to do to get started or for a mobile repair shop. We're going to the menu button and we go from our 2T pedal to spot welding. Here we're going to pick DC. We're doing steel. First, we're going to make some standard tacks with high frequency start. We're going to pick amperage 160, 175 amps maybe. We have to guess a little bit at the settings. Uh, gas preflow 0.2 second. Um, arc on time 0.35 seconds. And then we have no off time. We're not going to do a stitch weld and seven seconds post flow. Hot start is set at 70. We're using 330 second tungsten. So we should be good to go. So right now the foot pedal works as an on and off switch. There's no amperage adjustment really. The moment that you make click and you make the switch, that's when it starts. The timer runs out and then even if your foot is still on the pedal, the arc kills automatically. These here are the two fusion tack welds I just made. That one is not perfectly centered, neither is this one here. It gives you an idea. It did a good job, it fused it. It's not breaking apart, it's not bending really. But this was with the standard spot weld feature. Now we're going to use fast tech and we compare the size and the shape of the tack weld. In order to do this, we're going to go to the program button, DC. Fast tech, high frequency start. Our settings are still gas flow, pre flow, 0.2 seconds. The arc on time, same length, same post flow. Now the third one here, I had a little bit short tungsten to material distance. That's how the sound was a little bit different. The other ones, the distance was good. You can see the tech is much more focused. It's about 60% of the size as of what the other tacks are. When you look at the backside, you see it coming through all the way, full fusion. Here full fusion and better penetration than this one but you see the bluing zone, the heat affected zone, much smaller, much more focused. And when you weld over these now with filler rod, you're likely to consume the entire tack rather than just part of it and the rest you're just gonna weld over. The spot welding function and the fast tech function both also hide a special feature. This is my arc on time. I'm gonna reduce this ever so slightly and now an off time. This way it turns into a stitch welder. 
So now I can just spot, spot, spot my way through, consistent spots, same size, same duration, same everything. Without filler, I'm gonna make an autogenous welding seam out of this now. So all I do now is I put my foot on the pedal, the arc will go on and off automatically, and I'm moving the torch forward at a consistent speed, completing the joint. You can tell we have a full weld all the way through, maybe even a smidge too hot. And right here, it looks like I didn't hit the joint correctly or I moved it just ever so much too fast. Another unique feature of this machine here is we're gonna use our pedal in 2T. DC welding and we're going to use the double pulse feature with high frequency start. What the double pulse feature does is it allows you to have a high speed pulse overlaid with a low speed pulse. Typically you would use a high speed pulse to reduce your overall heat input and then a low speed pulse to either reduce it some further or to time your filler metal addition. So what we're going to do here now is the material we weld is about 48 thousandths. So we're going to reduce our overall amperature a little bit. I mean, we have control with the foot pedal, but I don't think we need 175 amps. I don't even think we need 120, but this is 5 amps starting, 120 amp max pedal. Here's our pre-flow, slope down post-flow. Here is our low speed pulse. We're going to set this at 0 0.8 hertz. We're going to do a 50% on time and 50% background. And our high speed pulse is at 50 hertz with twenty five percent on time and twenty five percent background so let's see how that works for us So our pulse settings were so cold that we ended up using all of the pedal, 120 amps max, but you see we have full penetration all the way through. 
and we have a nice uniform beat. This feature comes in especially handy if you weld reactive metals like stainless or titanium. It really helps you to control your heat input and you can set your low speed and your high speed frequency and pulse parameters to your liking. We're still welding DC. We're gonna go to 2T, no pedal. We are going to put our amperage all the way up. We're welding heavy material, 3 8 inch material in DC. And we're welding standard, no pulse. And now we have four different ways to ignite the arc. Lift with pedal, high frequency with pedal, lift pipe with a valve torch, lift pipe smart utilizing your torch that came with your machine without a valve. What happens now is you see the voltage light just lit up. The output is hot with a control current. It's not scratch start. I don't have to scrape it over the material and hope for the best at 210 amps. I can set it down. The moment I lift it up, it senses that short circuit being broken, juices the arc, and the arc is established. So let's try this out. This feature is very handy if you're up on a ladder, you need to weld something, you really have no way to operate the foot pedal, and you don't have to scrape this over at 200 amps, get stuck to it, and it's hot. It's a very easy lift it, set it down, lift it up, the arc ignites, and you weld. So I'll be touching it to the metal, and then the moment I lift off, that's when it ignites the arc. And then to terminate, I draw a really long arc, hold it for a second, and then it tapers down and turns it off. And this, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to call a Gorilla Weld. It's ugly, but it's strong. All right, thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end here. This is the HTP Independence 210 ACDC. It always comes to a voltage. It always has a screen. There's never going to be any functions skimped on that you have to pay extra for. It's all right here. So if you want to see more, stay tuned to our social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. See you later.